it's nothing short of an environmental catastrophe. Now believed to have killed up to a million fish in the Murray-Darling Basin. Locals taking to social media to express their frustration at alleged mismanagement. Look at this. <laughs> it's believed to be one of the biggest fish kills in history. It's a tragedy for the Murray-Darling Basin, really. It highlights the failings of the Basin Plan. The Murray-Darling Basin System is about 3,200 kilometres long and stretches from Queensland down through New South Wales, Victoria, ACT and then down into South Australia. It's absolutely the lifeblood of all those farming areas. Over the last 50 or 60 years, there's been a huge expansion of irrigated cropping. It includes cotton, citrus, wheat, rice, all sorts of amazing things that are growing in what was pretty arid country. This really sad bloody shot here, caused by the government, environmental disaster, and look at these iconic fish of Australia being treated like this. You just have to be bloody disgusted with yourself, you politicians and cotton grower. Manipulators. So there's controversy over what caused the fish kill. The Murray-Darling has almost stopped flowing at the moment. And so these pools are very still, they've become hotter, they're growing blue-green algae, which is very poisonous. One of the explanations is that the water became deoxygenated because it had been so hot and then it became cold and that killed the algae in the river and then sucked out all the oxygen. There's no oxygen in the water much at all, and they're getting a bit out of that little flow that's there. And uh, it's only a few inches deep, they can't swim any further upstream. Depressing sight, that's what it is. So the government is saying it's the drought, and there is a drought in Australia. But the question is, what's gone wrong in the management of the river? Real questions about whether the river is still wildly over allocated in favour of irrigators the plundering of one of Australia's most valuable resources was supposed to end five years ago with the introduction of the federal government's Murray-Darling Basin Plan. The Murray-Darling Basin Plan was an effort in 2007 to deal with a problem that Australia was facing, that basically its rivers were all over allocated. There'd been higgledy-piggledy expansion of irrigation, of farming, and even towns, and no real attempt to work out what the river could sustain. It was really clear that the Murray-Darling Basin system, which is the longest rivers in Australia, they were dying. For the Prime Minister to drain the, blame the drought is a cop-out, we need a proper investigation into how this has been gotten so wrong for so long. There are now serious questions about whether the plan is working, whether the amount of water being clawed back for the environment is enough, and whether there's been mismanagement and a failure to enforce the rules under the Murray-Darling Basin Plan. There's been allegations of water theft by irrigators, also a whole lot of changes to the plan in recent years which have arguably weakened the allocations for the environment. At the moment all I see is the state government blaming the federal government, blaming each other, and while they duck, shove and finger point at each other and shift blame, the river's dying. There are towns that have some thousands of people, often indigenous populations, that could run out of water within two months. Everyone's facing a really difficult task of finding more water. It's going to get really difficult, and people in the country are going to be very angry. But at the same time, they're also starting to realise that without a healthy river, they don't really have a future either.